Happy Monday. I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku here with a quick check on the tropics and things certainly active out there. Added a few new name systems over the weekend or EFG, Emily, Franklin and Gert new tropical systems. We could have another one here pretty soon with po a potential tropical cyclone nine. We'll talk about it. And then another wave out there off the coast of Africa, which also is likely to develop 70% odds over the next seven days. But the headline of this, the takeaway, none of this poses a threat to our weather here in Florida. Okay, now let's get down to the details of these storms. So potential tropical cyclone nine. This one is new today, and this is really the tropical wave that gave us showers on Sunday. Now it's moving out and it's getting a little bit better organized, but still is lacking a closed center of circulation. So Hurricane Center is like, okay, it's not necessarily a tropical system yet, but we think it could become one. So what they've done is they've given it this designation because they want to start to issue warnings. So now we've got tropical storm warnings and watches that are already posted for parts of coastal Texas because this system could impact them as early as tomorrow. Hurricane hunters flying into it today. What's going to happen is wind shear should be enough to limit this thing from rapidly intensify, but it is expected to strengthen somewhat so that it could get a name and become a, a low grade tropical storm upon landfall. No impact for us, but Texas could see some beneficial rain. Tropical Storm Franklin is in the Caribbean. This one's got a burst of convection with it on the south side of Hispaniola. They're getting some heavy rains out of this as well as much of the islands out there in the Caribbean. So we'll watch this one. Top winds at 50 here. Movement is west at the moment, but it is going to turn to the north where there will be impacts or parts of DR and Haiti. So we'll watch it once it emerges from that island for potential restrengthening. The island could disrupt it briefly, but it could intensify to maybe a hurricane at some point. Again, no impact for us there. We also have Tropical Storm Gert. This one is having a tough time. Wind shear likely will cause this thing to weaken in short order and likely won't remain a storm much longer. And then Emily is now post tropical. You can see why there's not a lot left with this system. And the National Hurricane Center is saying they've issued their last advisory on this storm as it just hangs out. It no longer has tropical characteristics. So that'll be it with that. So a lot going on. Emily Franklin Gert now off the list. A new name system would be called Harold. Of course, we'll let you know if that happens. But that's how things are looking right now as we approach the peak of the season. No surprise, things are starting to get busy. MyFoxHurricane.com is where you can always go for the latest throughout the season. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.